Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video of squares and square roots, we are going to take up some questions where we have to find the square root by long division method. So over here by using long division method, we shall find the least number which must be subtracted from the given number to make it a perfect square number. So we shall take two questions of such type. So let's get started. Now let us take a first question. Find the least number which must be subtracted from 6203 to obtain a perfect square number. Also find the square root of the number so obtained. Now this number 6203 is a non-perfect square number. If we subtract a least number from it, we shall obtain a perfect square number. We also have to find the square root of the number so obtained. So let's start solving and find square root of 6203 by long division method. We shall start by forming the pairs from the ones digit. So first pair is 03, second pair is 62. These pairs are also called periods. Now we shall take up first period that is 62 and think of the largest number whose square is either equal to or less than 62. So we can try with 7, 7 into 7 is 49. 8 into 8 is 64, which will be more than 62. So let us keep 7 over here as a divisor and 7 as a quotient. So 7 into 7 is 49. 62 minus 49 is 13. Further bring down the next period, 0, 3. So we have new dividend now, 1303. Now to solve this new dividend, we need a new divisor. So we shall take up the first quotient and double it. So 7 into 2 is 14. Further keep a blank over here, right? We can get 14 by just simply adding 7 over here. That way also we can get 14. Now by a lot of trials and errors, I got number 8 to be put over here so that my question is also 8. And I multiply the divisor with the question and I get a product 1184 which is less than 1303. Suppose I try with 9. Let me see what is coming. 9 into 9 is 81. 4 into 9 is 36 plus 8. We will get 44. 9 into 1 is 9 plus 4 is 13. So 1341 will be greater than 1303 okay so we can say that the divisor is 148 multiply by 8 we get the product 1184 so clearly which is less than the new dividend that is 1303 further now subtract it and we shall get the remainder 119 now the point to note over here is since it's not a perfect square number we got the remainder 119. Had it been a perfect square number, we could, would have got the remainder as 0. So this is something which is extra over here. If we subtract 119 from 6203, we shall get a perfect square number. So the perfect square number will be 6203 minus 119 which is equal to 6084. And if I have to find the square root of 6084, I will say it is 78 because with this question, 78, 78 square, if I do, I'll get 6084. Because now when I'll divide it by long division method, 6084, I will get the remainder zero, right? Now let us take up one more question. Find the greatest number of six digits, which is a perfect square. Find the square root of this number. Now a greatest number, which is of six digit, which is a perfect square also. We don't know. Till now we don't know. It is given. We have to find that number. Greatest six digit number we know it is 9,99,999. It may or may not be a perfect square number. We don't know. Okay, it is, it may or may not be, right? If I add a number 1 to it, what will happen? It will become a 7 digit number. It will become 10 lakhs, right? Now over here, if I subtract 
a number then i may get a perfect square number right so i have to basically find out that least number which should be subtracted from 999999 so that i get a greatest six digit number right for that i will use the long division method first of all i will make the pairs 99 99 99 starting from the ones i have made the pairs now first period is 99 which i have to solve again i have to think of a number what should be the largest number whose square is either equal to or less than 99 so 9 into 9 is 81 so it is pretty close to 99 i can take this number and find the product 81 99 minus 81 is 18 further now bring down the next period 99 and my new dividend is 1899 for which i need a new divisor so i will take up the first question and i will double it 9 into 2 is 18 further keep a blank over here i can also add 9 over here 9 plus 9 is 18 that way also i can get 18 now i have to find a number which will come in this blank so that my divisor is complete over here and same number will come as a question over here so over here after many trials i found that 9 is the suitable number because after multiplying 189 with 9 i will get a product 1701 which is less than 1899 so over here i have taken 9 in the blank now further i'll find the difference i'll get 198 bring down the next set of period that is 99 my new dividend is now 19899 now to solve this new dividend i need the new divisor now for the new divisor i will take up the new quotient that is 99 and now i am going to double it 99 into 2 is 198 and leave a blank over here or i could have just added 9 over here that is the new quotient 189 plus 9 is also 198 now leave a blank now this blank has to be filled with a number such that we multiply by the same number in the quotient and we get a product which is less than 19899 so that number again is i have found that is 9 by lot of trials i got the number 9 so i can say the divisor is 1989 quotient is 9 product is 17901 right which is less than 19899 now find the difference it will come 1998 now this remainder has come right this is a remainder why this is a remainder because no more period is left over here so this is a remainder had it come zero we would have uh, said that this 999999 is a perfect square number it is the greatest six digit perfect square number but because the remainder has not come zero because the remainder has come 1998 so we can say if we subtract this number so we can say over here as you can see i have written over here 1999 Uh, 998 should be subtracted from 999999 to make it a perfect square number right had uh, 999999 been a perfect square number we would have got the remainder zero over here but since we are not getting the remainder zero we are getting 1998 that means something extra we are getting out of this number so we have to subtract this extra from this number to get a perfect square number so hence to get a perfect square number we have to subtract 1998 from 999999 and we shall get 998001 right now this is the perfect square number which we have got now further they have asked us to find the square root of this number so we can say the square root of 998001 is 999 the question which we had got 999 that is the square root of this new number right hope you have understood so this is it hope you have understood the questions please do like and subscribe my channel thank you everyone have a great day ahead